Hello everybody and welcome to another Unity tutorial. So today we're going to be looking into rope physics, sort of making a rope swing thing with a little character here so that we can swing the rope back and forth or left and right or round in circles, whatever you want to do. So this is what we're hoping to sort of get today, so you can sort of swing the character back and forth and as you can see there's a rope here that will sort of swing with it. Yes there's little gaps in that but today we're just going to make a basic rope swing um, with hinge joints and as you can see it picks up momentum and you could actually add your character control script so when you push a certain button it grabs onto the rope and you push another and it sort of jumps off um, so let's just make a new scene let's just save that um, so let's just start by creating a floor and a roof uh, actually I'm probably going to want that to be 10 by 10 so that's 0.5 on the y-axis and Let's just center it to make it all good. All right, and then let's just drag this up for now. So what we're going to want to start by doing is actually creating a empty. Uh, actually, no. Uh, create a cylinder. There we go. Um, and let's just drag that up towards the roof there. And we're going to add a hinge joint onto here. And we're going to have uh, use spring, we're going to turn the damper to 50 and we're also going to enable collision there um, this is just to help us sort of you know have it so that it doesn't sort of mess around and bug out because if you don't enable those certain things I found that it just seems to bug out quite badly uh, not quite sure why but there you go um, so we're going to make six of these roughly sort of pinned underneath each other now you could scale these down a little bit, but there we go, four, five, six, like so. Now each of these have a connected uh, rigid body, uh, and what you're going to want to do is connect it to the next one up. So five goes to four, four goes to three. Uh, three goes to two, one goes to cylinder, uh, oh, two needs to go to one, uh, and then cylinder here actually isn't, at the moment isn't going to anything, and if you uh, just play that, the, oh, it does actually sort of stay there, but um, the best thing you can sort of do is if we uh, press F to sort of center on that, we create an empty game object, uh, and we sort of shove that all of the cylinders within that and we had a rigid body here too here uh, that's going to be kinematic uh, and cylinder let me drag on that so now it's sort of like yeah, it's, it, it's glitching out a little bit there just because uh, one or more of the cylinders are too close you just want to make sure that the colliders are not quite touching here we go so it's probably where it is uh, actually if we go to isometric we should just be able to see where it's causing the issue. Oh, it's probably in the floor as well, that's why. Uh, that should be good. If we lower that down and hit play. There we go. The rope's sort of not doing anything at the moment. Um, if you wanted to, you can sort of um, just lower these by, there you go, you can go minus two, minus four, because I think these are all currently have a height of two. Um, and it should automatically auto-adjust these values here, uh, minus eight. So this might actually work a little bit nicer. Oops, minus 10. Let's see how that works. Okay, that sort of works like that. If we just come out of maximize and play and we move this, there you go, you can sort of see that, you know, it looks a bit odd. We have sort of this little rope swing going on here and everything's sort of moving nicely. It's sort of slowly carrying on and it will eventually uh, slow down and sort of stop as you can see there i think it's already starting to lose momentum if you turn up the uh, damper i believe um that's how you sort of stop it from going on forever um but you can sort of mess around with these values until you find a rope swing that you sort of like um but you may end up with it sort of messing out something like this so just be careful there you go that looks even better right um so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to create an empty game object within this press f on this cylinder an empty game object, then we're going to add a 
cube, sort of down here-ish, uh, which is just going to have the collider. We don't want to have this little mess. Uh, this is just so we can basically, this is almost like an added weight at the bottom, where we're going to actually put the character. So if I can find the Ethan Unity model. Yeah, I have made this rope a little bit large, um, but that's okay. Um, there we are, scale up Ethan. We can do that. Uh, and then we can sort of drag the arms out, wherever they are, spine, like two, neck, there we go. Uh, let's just do a really basic sort of drag. Oh, that's that arm. Okay, we'll go this side then. Uh, drag the arm out, sort of attach it to the side. Maybe put it above a little bit. And then do the same on this arm. Drag it. Oh, that's not the right way. Drag it up. And drag it in. Yeah, it's a bit, you know, it's a bit squished now, but oh well. Uh, and you can drag that onto the cube. And then. That should be good on there. And then on this game object here, we're going to add, uh, I've already got this script made, but I'll go over it. Uh, so you're gonna create a script called player script. And I'm just gonna do that for now. Um, so if you wanna copy this down, it's very simple. It's four lines of code or five lines if you count that. Um, and this is basically going to get the, the bottom of the rope, the little rigid body it has attached that is needed for the hinge joint and we're going to get the uh, user improv, the horizontal and vertical axis. So on keyboard and mouse, that could be um, WSMD or up, down, left, right. Um, but you can also use it on the controller. Um, so that'll be your joystick left, up, down, left, right. Uh, I believe, and I think even D-pad. Um, so you should be good on that. And then we're literally just adding the force to the rope so that it goes backwards and forwards, left and right. Um, because this goes, uh, the horizontal and vertical values going from minus one to one. So if you times the right by minus one, it will go left, and times the forward by minus one, it will go backwards. Uh, depending on if you've got invert on, if you've got in, uh, if you're inverting any of the axes, then it will just sort of do the opposite. Um, but I guess you normally do inverting for camera, so you should be okay with that. Um, so if you've copied that down, feel free to pause the video if I've gone a little bit quick here, and you still need to write it down. Um, but once you've got that done. Uh, you should see this rope bottom thing appear here, to which you want to drag in your lowest cylinder, like so. Uh, and then you should be good to hit play. And there we go. You can't quite see it on the camera, just got made it a bit large. But you can see it in the editor here. That I'm pressing forward and back, and the actual rope is beginning to swing, which is sort of quite cool. And yeah, you can resize the rope and do whatever you like, um, just to try and make it sort of scale a bit better to your game. You can obviously texture these um, cylinders as well, so you can maybe add a rope texture onto that. And actually, to be honest, at the moment, if you're just sort of debugging and sort of making a prototype of your game, having a rope that looks like this, it's not too bad. You can only see the gap sort of every now and then. Uh, the one thing with this rope is I think because um, of the way I've set it up, I think you can eventually swing up to the ceiling. Um, but you may just want to play around with that, although I don't think I've actually managed to do that. Um, quite yet. It just takes a while to do. But there we go. See, it's gaining more and more momentum. I think if you work with the right scale and maybe add some more dampening and some more sort of, you want to try and force it to go to the right sort of place, um, you can probably just get a rope swing that will only go a certain distance. Um, but this is just the way I've played around with it. I mean, I'm no expert in hinge joints, but I mean, I think a lot of people agree this is, a, you know, a typical rope swing. You might have seen in like in Zelda or something like that. Uh, I Wind Waker, I believe, had like a rope system like this, and you should be able to go left and right as well. Let's see if I can get that to show just before I end the video. There we go. It takes a while to sort of, because you're adding the force on the front and back, it's sort of like slowing it down, and it might eventually do it. Possibly. There we go. I think it's slowly trying to do it. You sort of have to hold the key down, and it will eventually start to do it. You see, it's sort of wobbling there. Uh, it's going to slowly do it. Oh, maybe it's, there we go. Because I wasn't properly in the game view. You want to just sort of hold the key down and you might get left and right. So sort of do that and you can eventually get it going around in circles. It's just trying to fight against the force. Um, if you want to increase how much force you're applying, you can always do that here um, with the horizontal and vertical force. You can literally times it by 100 here um, on horizontal and vertical and 
You'll probably see some crazy stuff happen. Let's see what happens here. Unless it's just going to be really nice and not do anything. Oh, there we go. And he's already on the ceiling. Whee! Oh, he's already broken the rope. Yeah, this, this can happen because he's literally gone over and, and then got stuck there. Um, <laughs> but that's sort of what you can do. Actually, I can show left and right a bit easier now. And left, right and left. Oh, there we go. And it's going all over the place. You could also use it with vines, I guess, as well, that are sort of going mental in the wind. But there you go. That's a simple rope tutorial. You can edit the values and stuff like that and get it working um, to how you want. But I mean, this is very basic. It's, you know, mainly for debugging here and sort of trying to add in a little feature. Um, the best way I can say to sort of add this into your game, if you've got a character controller, you basically, you could use um, this cube. You could uh, detect the distance using vector3.distance between your player and this, and then detect like a key press, so press E to grab on. Uh, and then when you want to jump off the rope again, you can press E again, and you literally can probably just fling your character off or just position it in a certain way or play a certain cutscene or animation. It's up to you. Um, this is very basic. I'm not I'm not showing you how to attach the to the rope or detach. I might be able to do that later on, uh, but I'm, people literally just wanted the rope swing thing, so that's what I'm showing off here. Uh, and you can do all sorts of things with it and uh, have fun. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in another tutorial. Bye-bye.